Hi, welcome to my channel. Nope. My husband left for Air Force BMT on the 26th of September 2017 and went to San Antonio and it really sucked. Uh, we got up Tuesday really early in the morning, at like 4 or 5 o'clock maybe, to catch Justin's flight to San Antonio. And we said our goodbyes in the airport and it really sucked. After I left, I ended up getting texts from him saying that they were having maintenance problems on the plane, so luckily we got to text and FaceTime each other for the next few hours while he was waiting for that. Which made it a little easier to say goodbye, it would have really sucked if we just like hugged and said bye, see you in two months, and then like that was it. So it was nice to like have that little extra time. <laughs> Once he got to San Antonio, he called me and he was like, I'm about to go into the, the center where you wait for your bus to bring you to the base and I'm gonna try to take a little nap before and then I'll call you before I head in. And like 15 minutes went by and then I got a phone call and he, I was like, oh my God, hi, like, are you okay? I just talked to you, like, what's going on? And he was like, this is Justin Anderson. I have arrived safely to the airport and I will be headed to the base. I will contact you in the next 24 to 48 hours. I love you, goodbye. And I was like, oh, this is really happening and it really sucked, so. There's that. <laughs> Zero week was pretty shitty, meh, to say the least. I watched a lot of videos on YouTube about what they were doing and like what was happening and I was trying to follow along. But really, like, you don't know. You don't know. I know that they do a lot of in-processing and it's their time where they're kind of transitioning from their civilian life into their military life and what it's gonna be like and all the marching and, and all that fun stuff, so. Um, yeah, and they shaved his head. <laughs> anyway, it was either Thursday or Friday of that week, and he called me for like 30 seconds, and he was like, you could tell that he was like really stressed out and like really tired, and I was like, oh my god, woo, like crying on the phone the whole time. <laughs> Poor Justin, he had 30 seconds to talk to me, and I cried the whole damn time. The phone call was just to give me his BMT address so I could start sending him letters. They're supposed to read off of a sheet that's just like, please do not send packages, please do not do this, please do not do that, this is where you send it. We did kind of like sneak in like, a, like everything's going okay, but I'm really tired, I'm really stressed, but it's like not that bad, and I really love you, and blah 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 blah, don't text me. And then we hung up, and then I was really sad, because I was like all excited to hear from him. So yeah, that was zero week. Watt 1, transitioning into Watt 1, I was like really excited because I was like, whoo, okay, like finally, he's been gone for a week, like let's get the ball rolling. Um, but it was like just as difficult. I didn't really sleep very well. It was, it's really hard to like take care of the whole family just by yourself. I am currently 23 weeks pregnant and I have a one and a half year old so that makes it really difficult to like have to make all the meals and like do all the things from the drive and like, ugh, yeah. I did like mid Watt 1 receive a letter in the mail and I was like, whoa, like freaking out because it was his handwriting and had my name on it and I was like, oh, hell yeah. Now I get to know what he's going through. And I ripped that shit open, and guess what was inside? A fucking pamphlet letting me know that we could like get a discount for visiting during graduation week. So I was like, ah! And then I also got like the official postcard that he like wrote out his BMT address on. Well, that was really fun. But that's pretty much it. Like as far as emotion wise, I was still really stressed out, I was still adjusting. Things were really difficult. The week went by like so slowly. The, I tried to stay busy, but it's like really hard and like you're so sad and mopey. And I don't work, so I just like, I'm a stay at home mom. So that like makes it more difficult. And like, because we didn't have any income coming in, I didn't really do much. So it was lots of like Netflix and arts and crafts and stuff like that, so. Try to stay busy, you guys. Try to stay busy. But yeah, that's as far as Watt One goes. 
If you have any questions or comments, feel free to write them down below and I will get back to you. Sorry this video is so crazy and I will see you for what two. Thanks for watching.